welcome back. Call a radio a wireless these days and you're showing your age, but the name wireless lives on in Melville, atop Wireless Hill. Among other things, it's a museum of telecommunication through the ages. It's also headquarters for an enthusiastic band of ham radio operators, reliving the old days, keeping up with the latest technology and staying in touch with their counterparts around the world. The first Perth television signals were transmitted through Wireless Hill. Max Howard has taken his considerably more modern MaxCam back to the site for this report. As long as there's communications, there'll be amateurs, radio hams who follow the technology and share their interest with the rest of the world. And he's at Cootie Heights, which is my location, is Yokohama. And his name was Nori, N-O-R-I. The technology has changed, but that's just made radio hams more interested in learning all about it. I think there'll always be interest. People like to do their own thing, and uh, we talk on the telephone and take it for granted to across the world, but uh, there's a bit of fun in making your own antennas and firing up the uh, transceiver and talking across the world. The other thing, of course, is that telephone circuits are virtually private, whereas with amateur radio, you're talking on an open band, and anybody, literally anybody, um, can come up, King of Santa Jordan's an amateur, Barry um, Goldsworthy, is it, the, the, uh, the senator in America, he's, uh, he's uh, an amateur. Uh, they can just come up on the air any time and just break into the conversation, so you don't know who you're talking to. Today the action is centred at Wireless Hill in Melville, WA's first wireless station, and only the second in Australia, is having its 80th birthday. It was set up back in 1912 for the protection of ships at sea. And then there's a touch of irony about the building of this place. It was put up by Germans who also supplied the equipment. Then just four years later, when the First World War was in full swing, some of their countrymen might well have regretted that. One of the more historic um, occasions was uh, signals from this station, or signals were picked up by this station, um, which resulted in uh, the Emden um, being sunk uh, off the Cocos Island coast. Now three amateur radio clubs meet here regularly. More and more it's being set up as a base for operators as well as remaining a museum showing communication through the ages. We're using it as a means to tell the public and show the public the um, extraordinary advances in technology from the spark transmitter right through to um, contacting satellites. Uh, we've even had a contact with the Russian cosmonauts, particularly for this event. We've had a message from them which has been recorded on packet radio and uh, it's been printed out um, and uh, we have it here today. Wireless Hill must be one of the best used facilities around, a bush and wildflower reserve, as well as a base for radio operators and a touch of nostalgia to boot. As long as there's communications, there'll be amateurs, radio hams who follow the technology and share their interest with the rest of the world. There'll be amateurs, radio hams who follow the technology and share their interest with the rest of the world. Amateurs, radio hams who follow the technology and share their interest with the rest of the world. And he said Cootie Heights, which is my location, is Yokohama. 